Hello? Oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. This is the first time Kate has seen her dog in more than a year. Baby. The last time the Shelton family saw Teddy, he was this small. The curious pup somehow escaped. He stole our hearts immediately. And when we lost him, it was, it was a lot of tears in the house from, from everyone. The family of four scoured the area. A street team is going door to door. Posting hundreds of flyers. If you can imagine, it's, you're losing a family member. It's devastating. 14 months passed. Eventually, we reached the conclusion that he wasn't coming home. <laughs> but then this week, two worlds collided. Yesterday, this family in Sacramento was on the lookout for their own dog. Somehow got out with out of his harness, just which he's never done before. So they hit the streets looking for their dog named Chance. On my left, I see this dog and I grab onto him and he starts kissing me and I look down. I'm like, this is not my dog. It wasn't her dog, but it was one that looked just like hers. From far away, identical. Turns out she found Teddy. 20 miles and 14 months away from home. I have to take this dog to the shelter. I have to bring him there. And then on her way to the shelter at a gas station, she spots her own dog, Chance. Jamie brought Teddy to the shelter, where she says they confirmed his identity through his microchip, returning him to his family. If you don't believe in fate, this will challenge your beliefs. Good boy. Eight-year-old Caden never gave up hope. He is cute. And now his best friend is back home. So what? Thanks to a stranger. I'm so honored that I get to be the person that got to do that for this family. And she's now going to be a special family friend. To the rest of the people out there, if you find a dog on the street, so many dogs are chipped these days. Take that dog to a shelter. Help some family not go through what we went through.